I was at a dusty, debilitated bus stop, waiting to go home after an extremely long day. It was busy at work, and I had dealt with enough customers to make me go nuts. I honestly just needed some rest. I was alone at this stop, so at least I had that going for me. I couldn't stand small talk with people who wanted to engage in it with me, despite my desire to be alone. Luckily for me, there was no one around for miles. After what seemed like an hour, I started getting restless. It was eerily empty at this bus stop, and even though I preferred it to be this way, it still sent a shiver down my spine. Plus, the bus had been late twice. I was starting to get anxious. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a shaggy man approach. I got ready to split at a second's notice. If he showed any signs of suspicious activity, he didn't look trustworthy, and I wasn't in the mood for any altercations of any kind. I wondered why he was the only sign of life here after all this time. He sped up while directly looking at me, and I decided this was not the place to be. So I sprung to my feet and spun around to head in the other direction when I was shocked to see him standing right in front of my face. I jumped and yelped, Dude, what the heck is your problem? He simply stared. He shoved a book into my hand. It's your problem now, he grunted, and he jumped into the road. I glanced at the book, then looked back up to see no sign of him. That was odd. He must have been some missionary. Or maybe just some deranged psycho. Honestly, they weren't all that different anyway. I scanned through the book. It had nothing in it. Wow, what a freak. This book was empty, and he handed it to me like he needed to get it off his hands, or something. I decided to toss it in the trash. I went back to sitting down when I felt a sharp thump on my head. Ow! I looked to see the book right at my feet. It was like it fell straight from the sky. I looked around to see if anyone had maybe picked it up and played a prank on me by tossing it at me. No one in sight. I got up and trudged over to the trash can while grumbling. I placed it all the way at the bottom of the trash underneath the bag so no one would get any bright ideas again. I wasn't in the mood for any of this. I looked around and saw no one in my line of sight, so it seemed like I was in the clear. I placed my head in my lap and closed my eyelids. I was unbelievably exhausted. I just wanted to rest at this point. That's when I felt a sharp thud again. I opened my eyes to see the book on the floor resting at my feet. Feeling stunned, I reached down to grab it. I flipped through it to see words forming as I read it. It was writing the exact thing that was happening at this very moment. It read, looking down at the book, he read the page in confusion. He couldn't understand how this was happening. It was writing itself as he read the words on the pages. I was officially freaked out, but being the curious person I am, I decided to test a hypothesis that was coming to mind. I pulled out a pen from my pocket, and I started writing on the blank page. I wrote, waiting at the bus stop, he looked up and saw a bus finally arriving after his long wait. I doubted this would work at all, but I had nothing to lose. It was more of a joke than anything. Placing the pen back into my pocket, I sighed after realizing how dumb of an idea this really was. I didn't even know what I was thinking. This book must have had some invisible ink or something that revealed itself under certain circumstances as a trick. I placed my head back in my lap. That's when I heard a screech, and the unmistakable sound of a bus coming to a halt. I sat there in amazement. 
I got on the bus and stared at the bus driver. He glared back with an arched eyebrow, as if annoyed at me while giving me the eye. Arriving at home, I walked inside, placed the book on my dresser. I wasn't sure, but I was certain whatever I wrote into this book would come true. The next morning, I woke up, brushed my teeth, headed downstairs, ate some breakfast, and went back upstairs to check the book to see if anything new had appeared. I was ready to write my destiny into this book. I opened it, but this time, something was drastically different. This was nothing like yesterday. The book was filled, filled with words. Every single page had words on it, all the way to the end. I scanned through it. My heart dropped when I realized what the book contained. It had my entire life written on those pages, from beginning to end. I probably should have stopped reading, but curiosity killed the cat. The last page is what terrified me the most.